Hello, my name is Harriet and I'm representing Outside Lives Group Dig In. Today I would like to talk about something called black gold. So before we get into what is it, how do we make it, why is it important, I would like you all to close your eyes and imagine that you're in a forest. Okay. So what do you see? What can you hear? What do you smell walking around the forest? Now I'd like you to take a moment to look on the floor of the forest. What do you see on the floor? What do you find on the floor? And if you find some leaves and branches, I want you to look under those leaves. And then again, let me know what do you find? What do you find underneath those leaves? So this is something called, you can open your eyes now. This is something called black gold. I just got some here. So in nature, it's called hummus. So it's a natural cycle of living things and the cycle of life, death and rebirth. Um, so mother nature doesn't have any waste. She creates no rubbish. Everything that was once living can now help something else live. So it's this perfect, harmonic life cycle. And I would like us to talk and learn a bit more about how can we create this in our homes or in our communities. And it's something called compost, AKA black gold. So it's this perfect, it smells delicious. It's like soil-like, dark, crumbly, spongy, organic matter that's rich in nutrients and it's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible for your soil, for the soil structure, very beneficial. And also your plants will love it. It's full of nutrients, they'll grow stronger, healthier and it'll be more delicious too. Okay, so we can actually create conditions at home to mimic nature's cycles. And in a controlled setting, we can actually speed up those cycles to make it faster. Okay, so I would like to talk about why is it important? Why is this so important? Okay, so in your house, we have a rubbish bin. And in the rubbish bin, 60% of that rubbish, rubbish, is actually organic waste from the kitchen. So all of that goes to landfill. And the organic waste from the kitchen is trapped under all the waste and it can't breathe, there's no oxygen down there. So it cannot do that natural decomposition that it does in the forest. And unfortunately, these landfills, the organic waste is creating huge amounts of methane. I've actually got a bee coming to say hello. <laughs> hello, Mrs. Bee. And this methane is 30 times worse than carbon dioxide at keeping heat in the air. Hello. I'm just going to let it go away before I continue. She would like to be in the video. <laughs> so this methane from the landfills is a disaster. So what can we do? Well, we can stop that. We can handle our organic waste in a more environmentally friendly way and that's by composting. So our kitchen scraps, I'm not going to call it waste because it's not waste, our kitchen scraps, our fruit and our veg and also eggshells, used coffee, uh, grass clippings, manure, all of this would be classed as the green part of the compost. So we want a nice mixture of green and also brown. 
So the brown part I also have here. I've got my egg box. I've got a brown paper bag. I've got some dried grass clippings. They're excellent. And I've also got some dried leaves. You can also put straw. And some little branches I've got here too. So compost is a great mix of these. Ooh, I got it. She's gone. <laughs> so the compost is a great mix of these two, more than two, but the green and the brown. A great mix of these two together. Okay. So not only are we being more environmentally friendly, we're preventing a loss of nutrients. We're improving soil structure and plant health. And we're also creating free organic fertilizer, so we're saving money. And we're becoming more connected with nature's life cycles. So again, this life, death, rebirth, this great big cycle that we're all in. So just a few things to note. Uh, no meat, no fish, no dairy, no oil. These will attract unwanted visitors. So with the right conditions, or the right mix of the brown and the green, it's normally, I'd say, two parts of the brown to one part of the green. Okay, in volume size. And we want to put that in lasagna layers. Okay, so green, brown, green, brown, kitchen waste, leaves, horse manure, pizza box, a shredded pizza box. <laughs> okay, so we're creating a lasagna effect. And so with the right moisture, the right amount of oxygen, and the right mix, we can create compost, this black gold. In actually as little as 18 days. So I'm gonna link you to Jeff Lawton's uh, How to Make Compost in 18 Days video. It's amazing, so that's a hot compost. And that's if you have all the ingredients at the same time. But generally, an average um, human, we add as we go. Okay, so I cook every day, I'm gonna add it every day. So this is a cold compost. Okay, so the lasagna layers adding it on. And we're also being helped by decomposers, so that's earthworms, insects, and smaller microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. So they're all going to help in this process. Thank you. <laughs> Some gratitude towards our decomposers. Okay, so I want you to decide where you're going to have it. Inside, outside. Do you have space? Do you have a garden? Okay, so inside you can have uh, a bakashi bin or a worm farm okay so I have a worm farm right here this is my inside uh, it's two five litre gallons it's old paint um, that I washed uh, the first one has uh, it's just a bucket and the one on the inside I've put holes in the bottom and my worms are inside so with bedding and again those layers so I just keep adding it on they're having a great time in there and the key there is to keep it moist. Okay, so I've got my brown egg cup here. I put it in some water and I'm gonna add that in, okay? But outside, so if you have enough space, grateful for that, you can look, if you're in the UK, for a sunny spot, you need a bit of heat. It will need to be level and it'd be great if the earthworms could come up from below. Okay, so we've talked about where, we've talked about how with the lasagnas, um, and I think the most important thing is to turn it, okay, so you need that oxygen always to be helping to decompose. So depending on what you want to commit to really, like you could turn it every other day, you could turn it once a week, um, so cold composting could take up to two to six months. To, to for the end product of the black gold. So some tips. Um, if you're in the UK, you could add a compost accelerator, activator of comfrey, uh, nettles. There's a lot of them. 
um, so compost activator. Um, ooh, Mrs. Bean, she's very interested in the compost today. Um, it's always good to sprinkle a bit of soil to get those microbes in there straight away and get working. If it's too smelly, that means you've got too much green, too much nitrogen. Okay, so the green, the nitrogen, and the brown is the carbon. So remember, two parts carbon, one part nitrogen. So if you've got, if it smells, that means you've got too much nitrogen and you need to add more brown. And a little tip with the brown, make it as small as possible. You wanna make the surface area as big as possible, so therefore make the pieces as small as possible. And also, every once in a while, I add a bit of scrunched up cardboard or paper to create that air pocket inside the compost. Okay, so remember compost is decomposed organic matter that's created in a controlled setting. So I'm just going to leave you with this beautiful image. See how close I can get of this black gold. And good luck on your journey. Any questions please feel free to make a comment below and don't forget to sign up to Outside Lives Dig In Group. Thank you. Bye.